Hello everybody and welcome to the fourth episode of learning how to slap the bass. Originally this series was intended to finish in a week. I wanted to practice every day for a week but it was impossible in the end. I'm trying to do it whenever I can. Right now, due to this virus, I can't work. I'm not earning money, that is a problem. But I've got time to practice with the bass. So, well, yeah, that's a good point, I guess. I was supposed to work every day, I was supposed to play during the weekend, but pubs are closed, the clubs are closed, so we are not playing on Friday. I've already spoken enough, let's start slapping. Last time I started learning Higher Ground by Stevie Wonder in the version by Flea. Let me fix the camera a little bit. I kinda know how to play this part now. I guess it's time to look for some other materials, some other exercises I can do. Second check-in of the day, I found this exercise that works on octaves that goes That's pretty nice, and I can notice a couple of things. It's quite hard to maintain this position for a long time. After a while, this part of the hand starts struggling a little bit. I've noticed that there are many people that keep the thumb almost parallel to the string and they go something like this, they come from above. While the first video I saw was more like this way. I think that this position is better for me, even though with this position to play the second string for example, or the third one, is not super easy. Well, with this one maybe it's a little bit easier to make it sound. I, I like this one much more. Ah! A little bit too fast. <laughs> painful. I'm also changing uh, the song I'm practicing with. I think it's gonna be quite surprising but probably not that much for some of you. Uh, you'll see in a few minutes. Or, or better, you'll see it right now probably but it's gonna be in a few minutes for me. My hand is probably too cramped, if that is a word in English. Uh, I probably create a little bit too much tension with this end. I really feel like I need to press a lot. If I don't, I get this cranky sound. And I also feel like I'm moving my right hand a little bit too much. Let me know in the comments if you know anything about slapping the bass. Dang it. It hurts. Ah, everything's falling apart. Stop falling! Falling. Yes, I am falling. And she keeps calling me back again. One other thing is that I probably keep my little finger a little bit too stiff. I notice that sometimes it's all like this. Like uh, this thing here that is probably not good at all. Should be something like this probably. Okay, this is definitely too fast for me right now. Maybe in the next few days I will be able to practice more to do this uh, much more fluently. I'm going to move to the song. I'm going to start it on my own and then I'm going to check in with you to see the results. Okay, this is the song I'm trying to learn. I've just checked it out. I'm probably gonna make a lot of mistakes, but I think you're gonna get what I'm trying to learn. In the next few days I'm going to practice it more and to try to make it sound good and to hit the right notes, I suppose. Should be something like... Uh, Challenge with David 504. I'm gonna try to play something different from the last time. You know what? Let's jam together now. <laughs>
So that was it for today. That was it for today. I'm probably gonna practice again tomorrow, but now I want to cook. Thank you all for watching. This was the fourth episode of learning how to slap the bass. There are gonna be a fifth, a sixth, and a seventh. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye by Major Seven. <laughs>